Now here's an interesting technique for creating an interesting zooming burst uh, effect. And you've pro it's an effect you've probably seen before. And I know that Scott's done it in his Down and Dirty Tricks in the past, but um, it's usually applied to text. And it does give you an interesting effect. Well, I began experimenting with photographs and found that it gave me a really intriguing effect if you tweak it a little bit. Now, here I have an image of this guy. He's really rocking out with his headphones on, and I want to really give this image a little bit more energy to it. So, we're going to go into our layers panel, and I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this layer. So now I have a regular duplicate. I'm going to make the background layer. I'm going to unlock it simply by double-clicking on it and making it a regular layer, just like that. So I'm going to turn off this top layer for now, and we're working on this bottom layer. And we're going to go under the filter menu, and we're going to go to Stylize Glowing Edges. We'll get this giant window here. Let me fill it in here. Let's close the preview. So here you can see the effect I'm getting. I'm going to actually alter this just a little bit. I'm going to actually keep those lines kind of thick. We'll leave it at 3. I'm going to increase that brightness to about 8. And the smoothness, let's keep it around 6. So it's giving me those edges really, really like blown out, really glowing effect there. And we'll hit OK. Then I'm going to go into the filter menu again, and this time go to Distort Polar Coordinates. And we're going to go from polar to rectangular. And we'll hit OK. Let me see what we get there. Then we're going to go under Image menu and go to Rotate Canvas. And we're going to rotate 90 degrees clockwise. Now, for those of you who have seen this effect before, I probably know exactly where I'm going with this, but see how interesting this looks when we're done. We're going to go into the filter menu now and go to Stylize Wind. And we're going to make sure that wind is checked and going in from the right. And you can see the effect it's starting to give me there. I'm just going to hit OK. Then I'm going to hit the F key. I'm going to hold down my Command key and press F two times. And you can see it's giving me an interesting streak effect there. Well, now let's go back into our image menu and go to Rotate Canvas, and we're going to go to Rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise, returning it back to that way it was before. Then we're going to go back under Filter to Distort Polar Coordinates again. This time we're going to go back from polar to rectangular to rectangular to polar. And then we'll hit OK, and look what I get here. That is a really cool burst effect. Well, we're not quite done yet. Remember that duplicate layer we have up here? I'm going to activate that and then change its blending mode from normal to overlay. And you can see the difference there gives me it's highlighting those burst areas really cool and giving me an interesting effect there. And if I really wanted to, I can go in here. I'm actually going to create a new layer beneath the bottom layer. I'm going to hold down my Command key and click and create a new layer. And then fill that layer with black. Let's set our default colors just by clicking on those little swatches. Then I'm going to press Option Delete. That would be Alt Backspace on a PC to fill that layer with that black foreground color. Then I'm going to highlight the layer that's got the burst effect on it. I'm going to create a layer mask on it. And we're just going to go and get our gradient tool, which is hiding behind my paint bucket. Why is it hiding there? And making sure we're going from a black to transparent gradient, which is the second icon right here. I'm just going to go from, hold down the shift key, and I'm just going to come in from the sides like this, and the top and bottom. Just kind of narrow that effect in there a little bit more. And that pretty much does it. You can see we've taken a very simple photograph. If I put this back to normal, that's what we started with. And just by running that effect that you've probably seen run on text before, we get a very interesting burst effect in there. And one last thing I could probably do in here just to finish this off is I'm going to create a new layer on the very top. And let's go and get that gradient tool that we were using. Let's switch the color from the foreground color from black to white by clicking this little bent arrow here, and that'll flop those colors. And then again, with the solid color to transparent gradient, I'm just going to go into the center here, right in the middle of his mouth here. Just hold the shift key down and drag out just a little ways. Ah, need to change the type of gradient it draws. I want to actually use a radial gradient, not the linear. So with the radial gradient selected, let's try that again. So now we get a nice highlighted glow coming out of his mouth there. So there you can see, getting an interesting burst effect gives that image a lot more energy.